Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I have some breaking news coming out here for you. This is going on right now. We've got Ukraine launching a massive wave of storm shadow cruise missiles into Crimea right now. This is the Crimean Peninsula and Sevastopol, the largest city in Crimea on the southern side of the peninsula, is coming under a massive attack here by these missiles. And as you can see here in the video, we've got lots of video footage coming out right now. We've got uh, the traffic halted here at the Crimean Bridge, as you can see here on your screen. Um, so this is really bad here. Lots of attacks going on inside of Crimea. I've got a lot of information to go over. So let's get right into this. On the Kiev Independent, it says here, Russia claims missile attack on Sevastopol in occupied Crimea. The Russian proxy leader in Sevastopol in occupied Crimea, Mikhail Razvazayev, claimed on the evening of March 23rd that 10 missiles were shot down over the city during an ongoing attack. The announcement came amid claims on Telegram channels about explosions and rising smoke in Sevastopol. The Kiev Independent could not verify the claims. Ukrainian officials usually do not comment on alleged attacks in occupied Crimea. Razvazayev said at 10.40 p.m. Kiev time that the attack was still ongoing and urged residents to stay in shelters. He claimed that a small boy and a woman suffered shrapnel wounds as a result of the attack. Debris also fell on Industrial Nest Street in the Leninsky district. A car and grass caught on fire. The city's proxy head said on his Telegram channel, Razvazayev alleged, alleged that an office building a five-story building, gas pipes, a roadway, and houses were damaged in the city. The Crimean Wind Telegram channel published multiple videos and photos capturing projectiles, explosions, and smoke rising above the city. Uh, Razvazayev claimed that the smoke is Russia's military standard means of camouflage. According to Crimean Wind, explosions were heard also in the Balaklava district, and a, and a fire was reported near an airport in Simferopol. Uh, the channel said that the supposed attack in Sevastopol is ongoing as of 10.45 p.m. So this was literally just happening here, I want to say in the last uh, two hours. So uh, it's currently around, at the time that I'm recording this video, around 12.30 at night. So uh, after about, it's been going on for about two hours now inside of uh, Crimea. In recent months... Ukraine has intensified its attacks on occupied Crimea, targeting Russian military assets in and around the Black Sea. Russia has illegally occupied the peninsula since 2014, after the uh, Euromaidan revolution ousted pro-Kremlin president Viktor Yanukovych. Okay, so that's some of the latest information here from uh, the Kiev Independent. So obviously, like I said, a very big missile attack going on right now. Um, and uh, this is not good, okay? This is only going to make tensions here worse with Russia right now, okay? Russia literally just came under attack yesterday. I've got multiple reports coming out uh, that there was uh, a massive terror attack inside of Moscow or in the outskirts of Moscow at the Crocus City Hall. We've got hundreds of people that were killed and wounded, and now we've got another massive attack on the Crimean Peninsula, okay? This is technically Russian territory, okay? It was annexed by Russia in 2014. And uh, this is this is only going to make things worse here, guys. This is, a, this is an actual war now. We also just uh, reported the other day, just two days ago, that Russia has officially declared war on Ukraine, that this is no longer a special military operation. This is now a war, okay? And this is now, uh, this is going to start, what this is going to do is we're now going to have attacks on uh, innocent civilians here, and I think that's why Ukraine is now attacking Sevastopol directly uh, with these civilians here, okay, because that's exactly what's happening to them. Their towns are getting bombed, so I think they're starting to do the same thing back to Russia now, okay? So I want to show you this as well on a map where this is kind of taking place at. So uh, this is Ukraine up here, right, Ukraine? And then the Crimean Peninsula is down here near the Black Sea, and Sevastopol is the southernmost city down here, okay? So a lot of the attacks I'm hearing are going on here. Um, there's also apparently an airfield somewhere up here, I think, too, just north of Sevastopol. I think the Baalbek airfield, I could be wrong on the location, but I want to say it's just north of Sevastopol. Um, but we have reports as well that the Baalbek airfield is coming under attack also. 
Okay, so I wanted to show you that. Now we're gonna get right into this. I've got some reports here on X as well from multiple people here sharing some information. This is from Natalka, large scale attack on Annex Crimea. Sevastopol channels write that this is a missile attack that has never happened in Sevastopol uh, before. Governor of Sevastopol, uh, Razvazayev, posted, situation at this time. Our military is repelling a massive attack on Sevastopol. According to preliminary information, more than 10 missiles have already been shot down. The missile attack continues. Z channels claim that up to nine aircraft, previously SU-24, attacked Crimea with Storm Shadow missiles. So nine aircraft were launching Storm Shadow missiles into Sevastopol and surrounding regions here in the uh, Crimean Peninsula. So let's take a look at this video here. This looks like a missile coming in. So let's look at this. Okay, so you could hear in the beginning there, there was a, a missile that went off. While you see this other one coming in here in just a moment right here. So this missile is coming in and you heard another one, another bang right there in the beginning. And then you heard somebody's alarm going off at the same time. So this appears to be one of the other missiles coming in. And this looks like it's a massive attack, okay? I'm going to be showing you more videos here. And uh, there's lots of frightened people inside of Sevastopol. So let's keep going. Igor... Sush, uh, Sushko, okay, he put out a post here on X as well saying Ukraine is striking Sevastopol in occupied Crimea. Let's take a look at this video as well. All right, so here's another video clearly showing um, you can't see the missiles going off or anything or in the sky, but you can hear them in the distance blowing up and it's setting off a lot of car alarms. And I don't know where this person is at. Uh, maybe they're at like, this looks like maybe an apartment complex or a hotel or something like that. And uh, you look at all these car alarms going off from these uh, explosions here. So very frightening. And again, this is a war now, guys. This is no longer a special military operation. And what we're going to start seeing here from both sides are things that we have probably never seen in most of our lives. Uh, this is going to be really bad, okay? And I've been warning about this. I just put out a video literally the night before uh, Russia declared war on Ukraine. I had just put out a video stating there that, this, that things were about to get really ugly because we had Sergei Shoigu, the defense minister, traveling around the country in Russia, inspecting uh, bomb-making plants. They were producing these Fab 3000, these glide bombs that are extremely powerful. Okay, we're going to see some heavy weaponry coming out from both sides here, and it's going to get very nasty in a very short amount of time, okay? And uh, this is only the beginning of these kinds of attacks happening, like what we saw yesterday with the terrorist attack in Moscow. And then also now this attack going on in Crimea, it's going to get very bad, guys. Very, very bad. Here's another post from uh, Australia Intel. Explosions in occupied Crimea. Let's take a look at this. This looks like some people recording this from their cell phone or something. So let's see this. <laughs> So 
So this video looks like a family that could be possibly at their house. Some of them look like they might be wearing like pajamas still and they were probably just starting to get ready for bed and they started hearing these missiles coming in. Uh, there's air raid sirens going off right, right now consistently inside of Sevastopol as well. Uh, this is very, very, very bad here, guys. Very bad what's happening. And uh, what, what scares me the most is the response here from Russia. Uh, not just from this attack, but just yesterday there was an attack at uh, at that Crocus City Hall, okay, that I keep mentioning here. So Russia is coming under heavy attack here, and also we had these incursions rec recently in the Kursk and also the Belgorod region uh, by these pro-Ukrainian groups that are entering into Russia and uh, engaging with the military there. And, uh, you know, just Russia is uh, being attacked like they haven't been in a very, very long time. OK, this is now a war. OK, this is very bad. So uh, next one here. This is from Australia Intel. also Russian air defense artillery active over occupied Crimea. So this video, I don't believe it has any picture, um, but we can kind of hear the air raid sirens going off. So let's listen in. So you know what there, you could actually hear the uh, explosions going off in the distance. So you hear the air raid sirens, and then you hear the explosions of the missiles maybe getting taken out in the air by air defense, or maybe some of these striking Sevastopol. And if they are, you can hear it in the distance. There's multiple bangs, like bang, 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 like multiples, three or four at a time hitting. Um, and this could be the air defense taking them out, or who knows, maybe it's the missiles striking the city as well. Because we're going to be showing you some more footage here of missiles actually hitting. Here's one right here that I was just showing you guys um, on this main screen here. But we'll take a look at it uh, in full screen. So this is from War Intel. Ukrainian attack on Sevastopol, Crimea, which is Russian controlled. So let's look at this one. This one's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I want to note here too, as you can see these explosions going off here, is that remember that these are British Storm Shadow missiles that are coming into the city. I don't know if all of them are. But we do know that British Storm Shadow missiles were fired on Sevastopol. So think about this. These come from the UK, right? And the UK has obviously been providing these for a very long time now. It's not the first time that Crimea has been hit by these Storm Shadow missiles. But to me, at least what this looks like in this video, is this actual city here is coming under attack. I don't know if these targets are military, um, military designated targets or if these are just civilians getting getting hit here but we did have reports from that governor saying that innocent people were were harmed by shrapnel here so just understand that remember we had reports coming out by uh german chancellor olaf scholz that he was saying that uh there's there's potentially british soldiers on the ground or there actually is firing these with the ukrainians so think about that we now have british soldiers on the ground in ukraine firing british storm shadow missiles at innocent civilians inside of the Crimean Peninsula, which is obviously Russian territory at this time. This is really big here, okay? And this will not go unanswered. And obviously, okay, yes, yeah, I already hear people saying that uh, Russia's been, been doing the same thing to Ukraine for a very long time, okay? There's been thousands upon thousands of people being killed. Um, so it doesn't obviously, whether it happens one way or the other, it's not good either way, right? And I don't stand for either side. But what I am saying here is that Ukraine is really starting to do this more lately. 
and they're targeting more than just their their infrastructure, their their oil facilities. And now if this is targeting innocent civilians, this is really going to amplify the war is what I'm trying to say, okay? This is really going to amplify. And then on top of that, we have Russia coming out and saying that this is no longer a special a special military operation and this is now war. Okay, so that's my point is that uh, this is only going to make things worse here if this is an attack on innocent civilians, which to me, this is what this looks like. Here's another report uh, from Vis Vicegrad 24. Ukraine has unleashed a massive wave of storm shadow cruise missiles against Crimea. Targets are being hit across the peninsula. The explosions seen in this video are taking place at Baalbek Airfield. So this is where I was telling you earlier, there's an airfield that was coming under attack near uh, Sevastopol as well. So let's see this. Okay, so as you can see there, explosions in the distance supposedly targeting the Baalbek airfield as well there. So very crazy here. This looks like a very massive attack. I know they're saying there was like nine um, Su-24s uh, fighter bombers that were launching these Storm Shadow missiles. But uh, from the looks here, we're, we're seeing quite a few missiles being launched here. I don't know how many of these Storm Shadow missiles can be carried on each, uh, each aircraft, but... Uh, we're seeing definitely dozens and dozens of strikes here inside of Sevastopol. So one last post here that I want to share with you from uh, Vicegrad24 as well. Traffic halted at the Crimean Bridge as Ukraine launches massive missile attack against the Crimean Peninsula. So let's take a look at this one as well. <laughs> Okay, so here's another family here. I don't, this kind of looks like the similar video that we saw earlier. I don't know if it's the same one, but uh, looks like another family here that is frightened by some of these explosions going off. So, like I said, because these explosions are going off so close to this family here. That really makes me think that this could be a target here on uh, innocent civilians, but I don't know. We'll have to see here um, when more information comes out. But obviously the city's coming under attack and there's civilians here. So that's just my assessment that I believe this is an attack on, a, on civilians here. So again, uh, terrible news here going, going out uh, on the Crimean Peninsula in Sevastopol. This is really not good. And this is only going to create higher tensions and uh, much heavier response from Russia. And what really worries me here is, is the worse that this gets, the closer we get to a potential nuclear bomb going off in uh, Ukraine. Okay, because they've, they've come out so many times in Russia. Many top officials and Putin himself has come out that if, they're, if their sovereignty feels threatened, which isn't this technically you know, attacking their sovereignty right now, that they would they would eventually utilize nuclear weapons to uh, destroy Ukraine. I mean, this is just really bad. And maybe this is the whole buffer zone that they're talking about. Maybe if they were to launch a nuclear bomb into Ukraine, that this would create the buffer zone that they're talking about because the, the area of the blast would be completely uh, uninhabitable. I don't know. I'm just kind of speculating right now, but I can't say that I'm not worried and... Uh, and afraid here that this could this could really turn into something big along with this terrorist attack yesterday. And Ukraine's already being accused of that terrorist attack as well that happened at the Crocus City Hall. So let me know uh, what you think down below. Share your thoughts with us and your concerns. If you got something out of this video, please smash the like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And if any other information comes out with this, I'm sure we will get more. I will definitely update all of you on this attack. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. Be safe out there. Take care and God bless. We'll see you in the next one.